I'm sorry if you can't see me or if this video ends because my camera died, but I just wanted to get on here because I wanted to vent. I want to go to Target right now, but I just wanted to vent because I feel like I have a problem and I need to like, I need to like let my thoughts out. Oh, this is actually really good lighting, but yeah, basically I wanted to say that I'm sort of having a money spending problem. And right now my windshield wipers don't work. I've been running out my credit card so badly. Like today after work, I went to Press Cafe and I spent $20 on a smoothie and a sandwich. Yesterday I got a smoothie from Press Cafe. So between two days, I spent $20 on smoothies. And then like guys, I've been fighting the urge for like three or four, three years now to buy a new car. Cause I know I shouldn't, but I really want a new car, but like, I can't, I can't, it's just too expensive. Um, I probably just broke my camera, but whatever. But yeah, like every single day for like the past couple years, I go on car gurus at least like five times a day looking for new cars. Cause I want a new car. But like the car market is horrible right now. Let me show you my windshield wipers, look, watch. Like, that's fucking stupid. Like, like if, like, why couldn't the other side break? So I can still have my own, or whatever. But yeah, I go on car gurus every single day. I, you guys know I vlogged it. I almost bought a car, like, a couple months ago. But not, a couple, like, last year I almost bought a car. But thankfully that didn't go through. Like, Jesus knew that I, that wasn't, that wasn't in, that wasn't in my time yet, so he put an obstacle for that to happen, for that to not happen, but yeah, I still want a car, but I'm not going to get one, but I want to, but I'm not gonna, because I, like, I can afford it, but it's, this is, like, the worst time to buy a car, that's the thing. I'm at Target because ever since I came back from Montreal, I've just been, like, f I've just fell out of my routine, like, I used to cook and go to the gym every day, but now I just haven't been doing that, I've been buying food every single day, which is, like, it's just so bad for your wallet. So, I'm just here to literally get a sim the, like, the most simple meal prep I can do. Like, literally, I'm gonna get, like, frozen chicken and, like, frozen rice or something so I could just do that and microwave it and be done because, like, I need to slowly get back into the, into the swing of things because I just don't have the energy right now. Like, also, I'm kind of, like, not, like, sad, but, like, just not feeling myself lately because I've been at my job for like five months now and the novelty of having like a grown-up job has sort of fell off so now it's just starting to feel really mundane like going to work at nine leaving at four and then just doing nothing the rest of the day like it's starting to just feel repetitive and soul snatching no it's not it's not a good thing no soul like I just think like I'm losing my soul so yeah, that makes you just feel really, really unmotivated to, like, work out and cook and whatever, so. But I need to change now, so I'm doing the best I can in small steps. So I'm gonna go to Target. I'm here already. I'm gonna get some, like, things. I have a $20 gift card, so that'll help. Um, but yeah. I'm thinking of just getting, like, chicken and rice that's like frozen and I can, so I can just microwave it and be done and maybe some like frozen vegetables to put in there and then i also need like snacks for work because guys every single day i eat the junk food in the kitchen from the from work and that's just like really making me feel it's making me feel even worse because i'm not putting good food into my body so i don't know it's just a lot of things a lot of factors at once making like my life difficult and then on top of that, I spend money like, I spend money like I'm freaking Bill Gates, but I'm not. So, yeah, we're gonna go to Target, we're gonna see what I get, and hopefully I don't spend like over $30. Oh, and I also got the, I got the new Whiskey Essence Pods from Nespresso, and I tried it this morning, I don't like it. So, that's a whole sleeve of pods that I've wasted money on, but we're gonna drink it anyways, because I bought it already, so. Yeah. Should I be like that lady on TikTok that's going viral? Guys, this is in the kids section. 
work. Okay, this is the child section. This is literally the kids section. I'm next to a literal onesie that says whatever the hell that means. Like, have you guys seen that TikTok? That white girl on TikTok, like, outraged? She's putting, like, adult things in the kids section and saying it's like they're indoctrinating our kids. Like, bitch, shut up. What does cumin look like? I can't find it. Guys, I literally, I'm not in the kitchen enough. What the frick is cumin? I feel like it would be like, not green. Right here, cumin. Perfect. So if you want to make the, the Starbucks chocolate cream cold foam, this, get this. See, like I'm already like overspending because I really want to get this to put in my coffee but like no i can't and also i'm gonna get this because I, I literally can't sleep and my ass needs to sleep so yeah i literally hate going to the target in my hometown because i literally see everyone from school from high school and i don't like it okay this is where i want to be i need to get some vegetables because i need to like I'm severely malnourished in the term in terms of vegetables, so I should get some. Sounds good. I don't know. Should I get it? It's two dollars. We'll get it. Now I need to choose what protein I want to do. General Tso's chicken <clears throat> sounds really good. <gasps> Wait. <gasps> oh my god. Wait. This only has like 3.5 servings. Hmm, I don't know, should I? Yeah, we're buying it. Bonchon's career is over. 10.69 for this tiny ass bag of fruit is, it just really shows where the world is today in terms of the economy. No, thank you. Walmart, you got me there. I swear some people were raised in a barn. What the fuck? But anyways, what did I say? Look at all this shit I got. So I thought my day couldn't get worse, and it got worse. So I was in the self-checkout, ready to use my card, my gift card. And I thought you just scanned the like, barcode on the back. But I, you, know, you know those stupid things that you have to like peel off, and they're really annoying to get off to see the code of the gift card? Like I was like friendly trying to like get it off in the self-checkout because there was people waiting. And I was there for like five minutes trying to get it out, and I literally like messed it up. So like it wasn't the machine wasn't recognizing the card, so I had to pay full price for everything, which is really annoying because I literally only came here because I had the gift card. I can literally cry right now. Like I'm so annoyed. I spent like sixty dollars too. Like I, yeah, I basically spent for sixty dollars. So oh, I hate adulting. I can literally cry right now. I'm not going to, but. I don't know, like it's getting broke out here. Like I could have spent $40 instead of 60. <sighs> but whatever, I got groceries, so hopefully I don't eat out again for a while. I thought of something that I was gonna say in Target, but I didn't say it. I didn't remember what it was. Oh yeah, another thing like I keep wanting to spend money on, I literally wanna travel everywhere, like it's bad. Like I really wanna go to Italy in spring, next spring break, which I probably won't, because the person I want to go with doesn't want to go there, so I'm probably not going to be able to go, which sucks, but oh well. Um, I don't want to go alone. And I want to go to California in October. That's something I want to do, but like, I'm broke. I'm not broke, I'm not going to manifest that. I'm, I'm not broke, I literally have money saved, like I have a lot of money saved. But that's money I cannot touch. That's money I cannot touch. I refuse to go into my savings, so... I don't know. Yeah. I really want to go to Korea, too. Like, I've been learning Korean more. And I've not gotten better at all since I came back in January, but... I really want to go again. And meet my friends that I've made. Over there. But that's probably not going to happen for a while. Probably not until, like, after I graduate. And definitely I want to get a travel credit card before I go there, so I don't know. 
Yeah, I really want to travel too. I don't know. But, yeah, thanks for coming along with me through this journey. It's difficult, but it's a work in progress, and no one's perfect. And I tell myself, like, yeah, I'm spending all this money, which I shouldn't, but at least I don't have student loans, so that's... I could be having a student loan right now, which I'm not, so thank Jesus for that, but... Yeah. Like, it's bad, but it's not as... It's not, but I'm making it worse than it is. I don't know. Just, let me shut up. Bye! For the cherry on top, I just dropped my bag on the wet floor. Goodbye for real. It is now the next day. My remote. Max, stop. So it's the next day. I'm home from work, and let's just say I already failed with my no spending journey. I bought breakfast today at Press Cafe, twelve dollars. I bought plane tickets to go somewhere in January. My half is about like three hundred something, so not bad. And then I got ice cream during work at Cold Stone, so that was like seven dollars. But now I'm home, I made my meal prep, and don't judge me, but it looks really sad. So this is the chicken from yesterday, I added the broccoli and the edamame. I was gonna make rice, because I have some, but I was just too lazy, so I'm just gonna eat the chicken by itself. And then I also have an iced coffee that I made. And then for dessert, I have butter cookies. But yeah, I clearly did not do a great job, but you know, it's a work in progress. So that's all that matters. Like, I could be eating out right now, but I'm not. I'm eating the meal prep that I made, so. Yeah. We're gonna end it here for real. Bye.